sorry for the delay, but uh, it's me, the angry anime fan, the despair reviewer to bring you uh, the chapter 77 of Black Clover. Just this week, mm, not really anything special happens. As everybody predicted, this arc went fast, but at least one thing happened that I actually wanted, and that was Lutus did get a chance to show scene, but he clashed with Yami again. Well, not really clashed. Yami slashed him. And do you know, Yami has completely forgotten who Lutus is. Then again, that shouldn't be so surprising. Yami doesn't look like the guy who will remember every, every person he slashes. But um, on the same time as... Is Lotus just the same age as Yami? Uh, the way he calls him kid. But he did say he fought him when he was young. So, yeah, too bad. Lotus is a, is a complete uh, joker. Uh, no, not joker. A butt monkey is usually what they call him. He always gets uh, the bad things. But he is so, uh, well, so comedic in his way that he admits all of his flaws that you cannot bring yourself to dislike him. He is the only one who escapes, because in this chapter, turns out that the reason why William Vengeance has created that tree is because he fed on all the mana, and the re only reason why it can grow that big is because he fed on it, and he practically, and he did big extensive damage too, and he took almost all of that uh, red cloth's uh, comrades with him. So, uh, so of course that uh, guy, the arrogant bearded guy, just screams that uh, he may have underestimated you, but I'm not gonna retreat because that's uh, not the way in the King Kingdom Armed Forces. He's pretty stupid, as uh, Vengeance just throws a seed and traps him in a tree of an own. And on the way, although he doesn't become the tree, he just traps him in his roots and then the, it grows. And the way uh, William says he's gonna become mana for nourishment for the... No, his mana will become nour nourishment for the Kingdom of Clover. I gotta say, William's uh, magic, uh, Yggdrasil-like magic, is kinda controversial. I mean, don't get me wrong, I know what you're gonna say. Uh, aren't you saying... Uh, you're probably gonna say, So wait, then what about Jami? Didn't he slice Veto in half? Uh, yeah, uh, I mean, it's not exactly confirmed how the different moral stands exist in this uh, manga. I mean, some characters do get killed, others mostly get captured. But the way uh, William traps people in a tree where the mana will feed this tree, in a way, I consider that fate worse than death. Yami c killed Veto because, well, he had no choice, and also Veto was a complete and other monster. But also, if he didn't, then everything would have died. So either way, um, Lutus tr uh, tries to do a ambush that, surprisingly, William doesn't notice until it's too late. But it's Yami who breaks through it. And it's during that moment he rea Lutus realizes that when Yami talks back, that he realizes that he doesn't remember him. So Lutus retreats with the, I think, the tree of the Red Oath me Orc member. It's then revealed that he's going to talk uh, to uh, uh, William Vengeance. I'm beginning to wonder. As I said before, I mean, the Orcs of Black Clover are always short. You know, some, some people say it's so short it, doesn't, it shouldn't be classified as an Orc. But... Um, I still have no idea what we are to expect from this arc. Uh, but I think that maybe next week will give us a clue. The way that Vil that uh, Jam is saying he want to have a little chat with Vengeance makes me question again. Is he going to say something that's going to leave us a clue on who the mole is? Elsewhere, Juno finishes up his fight with the lightning guy, who somehow now has a um, way of saying beautiful. And here, even Juno shows something he hasn't seen before, creating a gust sword that pierces through the guy and crashes him into the buildings. I mean, I haven't seen that uh, kind of battle from Juno before, so I'm beginning to wonder, is the Golden Dawn the strongest because they're also the most ruthless? 
There are some, I'm beginning to trust them less and less, but then again, as I said before, this was an invading kingdom, and when in that kind of battle, they uh, they cannot be spared. The way that Yuno says, out here, the better man will win, makes me question, does it mean the better man in ma mana, or uh, something else? The way he says that uh, there's no such thing, like, there's no such thing as beautiful on the battlefield because out here the man the better man will win makes me question about what that could mean but yeah he then greets us there with his uh, usual mocking until later yeah which uh, funeral just thinks that he has become more arrogant but then surprisingly he smiles much to Belle the sylph the avat Windell avatar surprise because she said a couple of chapters ago you should smile a bit, little bit more and you know just giving Aster a smile almost proves that um, Aster is the one person he um, he can be uh, I, I don't want to say himself to but it's the is his closest rival but also his closest friend therefore he can always smile for him he even praises Aster that he is beat up because that means for you know that he's become stronger but he's not gonna beat Aster no well I'm not gonna beat uh, him you know's not gonna says to Aster that Aster's not gonna beat you know but uh, Aster of course says I will get on top Charmy well she can only blush as she can finally meet her prince of meals again so what awaits us now? Well, that's a wonder. The well, Bell reacted to surprise that you know is smiling. Does that mean he hasn't even talked to her about that? I gotta say, I'm beginning to get more and more confused on Yuno's character. It's clear he is the cold, quiet, and very stoic, uh, serious, comedic kind of person that cares for his best friend. But I'm still wondering if he. Would he care for someone else too? And I wonder. I guess she, he doesn't open to Belle. And what will he say now that... And he didn't even notice that Charmy fell in love with him. Then again. For uh, you know, she, he considered Charmy just a child. But it's not exactly confirmed on just how old Charmy is. But uh, she doesn't seem to be a child. Maybe she's just a... Uh, I don't want to say dwarf, but maybe she just has a short... She Either she is a child, or maybe she just has a short growth spurt. Similar to a dwarf, but a little bit other. Um, who knows? She is also pretty mysterious. If anything, Black Rover is creating pretty mysterious char characters, because it's kind of difficult to read their personalities sometimes. But yeah, that's basically this chapter. It was longer than... My review was longer than it had to be. Still, I have no idea what we're gonna get anymore. I'm not exactly completely satisfied yet, but now that that battle is definitely over, we definitely will jump into a little bit more pacing, don't you think? So give me your thoughts if you have any.